Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So this is the second lecture on food chain and webs. Okay, so in the previous lecture we have discussed about main the producers, the primary consumers and the secondary consumers. Okay, and there are one more consumers which are called as tertiary consumers tertiary consumers and they are at the fourth level okay the fourth trophic level as you can see here in the diagram these are the tertiary consumers okay so students till far we have discussed about what is a food chain now we will discuss about what is food web okay so we will discuss each step of this food chain and it is also this whole structure is also called as the food web it consists of many food chains okay so it is called as food web so i will discuss the points of food web one by one okay see the green plants in a tertiary ecosystem capture about these are the green plants let's say they capture about 1% of energy of sunlight that falls in on their leaves and convert it into food energy so our producers main producers convert only 1% of sunlight into food energy the sunlight that falls on their leaves okay the second step is when green plants are eaten by these primary they are called as primary consumers okay so when green plants are eaten by the primary consumers here a great deal of energy is lost as heat to the environment a great deal of energy is lost to the environment when producers are being eaten by primary consumers okay and some amount goes into digestion and in doing work and rest goes to towards growth and reproduction okay an average of 10% of the food eaten is turned into its own body and made available next level of consumers okay so the third point is therefore so what it was there means an average of an average of 10% of the food eaten is turned into is turned into on body and made available to made available for secondary consumers because secondary consumers will eat the primary consumers okay now the third point is therefore the 10% can be taken as the average value for the amount of organic matter therefore this 10% can be taken as average value 
for the amount of organic matter for the amount of organic matter that is present at each step and reaches the next level of consumers okay students so what is the next step in this let me first arrange this so now the fourth step since so little energy is available for the next level of consumers food chains generally consist of three or four steps and the loss of energy at each step is great that very little usable energy remains after four trophic level that is why there are mostly up to four or means tertiary consumers not more than four trophic levels there are okay since so little energy since so little energy is available for the next level of consumers food chains generally consist of three or four levels only okay now come is the fifth point there are generally a greater number greater number of individuals individuals at the lower trophic level as you can see in the picture that at the lower trophic level there are more number of individuals than at the tertiary level of an ecosystem the greatest number is of producer okay the last step is the length and the complexity the length and the complexity of food chains are greatly very greatly okay means each organism is generally eaten by two let's say take the example of this plant it is eaten by rabbit also uh, deer also and one another organism also okay so generally the length and the complexity of food chain very greatly and each organism is generally eaten by two or more kind of organism which in turn are eaten by several other organisms and this organism eaten by three type of organisms as you can see that this is eaten by this eaten by this also and this also okay so the complexity of the food chain increases in this way so instead of a straight line food chain the relationship can be shown by so this relationship where one organism is eaten by many other organism is shown by food web okay 
and this is called a food web okay so this was about food chains and food web students and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there okay and happy learning stay blessed